Hey, I just got in. Uh, busy, busy day, busy couple days, and uh, let me try to tell a quick, funny story here about honey. Uh, my favorite thing at the moment is um, is just whenever I kind of walk past the freezer or after workout, but before workout, I just kind of take off a bit of this. It's frozen honey, and I just kind of chew on the end and. It gets me, it, it pushes me through, it feels good. The reason why it's frozen is because usually if it's, if it's set out and it's warm, I can just suck down the whole thing. But um, I was just reading it and it, and it, it shouldn't shock me, but like, um, this, this thing is like 2,200 calories, this thing, you know, and I, I just, I can suck the whole thing down, you don't feel anything. Can, the story I'm going to tell is there was a time uh, I believe it was I believe it was 2018 2018 yeah 2018 um, I was looking for more in life at that moment in time and uh, I was thinking right, I'm going to take American football seriously and I'm, I'm going to move back to England and I'm going to um, I'm going to get a tryout for an EU FL team and I'm going to try and get to America some way I can and I uh, just wanted more I wanted to, I wanted uh, more purpose and all of this stuff so uh, this is in Cyprus at the time and uh, <laughs> on the days I didn't have work uh, construction I would walk up I would walk up my gym was in the mountains and I, I would leave my house leave our flat and I would walk up uh, like 10 15 minutes up the mountains like in a little side ditch by the side of the road i would usually drink like one or two cans of coffee by the time i get there and i would be in the gym six seven eight hours every day i could and, it, and when i would come after work i would come in my boots my trousers still all fucked up tired i would just gullet some coffee and some honey and i would be there for another five hours after like eight or twelve hours of working in the sun all day I, at that moment in time, I like I, I, I was really in love with like it was the first time I was on like a, an athletic uh, journey slash goal or anything, and I was just falling in love with it. Anyway, anyway, I was in the gym for like six, six, seven, eight hours. Which how the fuck are you in the gym that long? And I, it, it was, I was. You had to go there early in the morning because where I worked out, it was an inside gym, but they had an outdoor area which I loved, and the outdoor area was like a like a, a monkey bar pull-up thing and like um like ropes you climb in gym class and stuff and between two metal poles they just had hooks and one they just had two hooks and one and they and you could squat there and it was like a set height you can't change dick and there was maybe like 200 kilos of just like the most rusted plates left outside for years you've ever seen a barbell which was like more bent than fucking whatever right more bent than a broken ruler and uh that's where i learned to squat and that's where i learned to do a lot of things and that was like my that was my area right but if you get there too late in the day you're in cyprus and it's like 50 degrees so you have like maybe two hours to get like a warm up in and start squatting and then you have to move inside otherwise you get cooked end of the day it's fine but midday you don't want to be out there i tried it and like dog you, you it was rough but um I was doing so much I, I was working out I, I would go there I would do like my farm roll I would do a big warm-up and then I would do a bunch of jumping I would like uh, touch the rim on the basketball I would um do a bunch of jumping around and I would do my squats and then I would do like this huge onslaught of compound lifts um at that time I think I was doing a little bit of arm training as well. I was doing a lot of like hip loads and loads of hip direct work. And at the end of lifting weights, I would do a shit ton, a shit ton of like hours of just uphill sprints. Hours on the treadmill. Hours of uphill sprints. 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We get to like the max incline, max speed. Just fucking animal. And back in the day as well, I was, um, I know everyone wants to, everyone does like, backwards walking now and even i am now but back then i would warm up on a high incline low speed backwards on the treadmill and the reason why i did it is because like 
I could feel it in my hamstrings and in my head, if I'm doing sprints, I don't want to pull a hamstring. So I, I fucked around and I found this and it was like, oh, this is really good. So if I feel like I'm worn up my hamstrings. Anyway, honey, I'm there for like eight hours a day and I'm feeling fucked up halfway through my workouts. So I'm, I'm reading in bro science. What happens when you work out? Um, well, your glycogen stores get depleted, right? And that's why you feel tired. Okay, so I need glycogen. Okay. Um, but I don't want to be sitting there eat, like drinking sugar and shit. Like, like I don't want to be eating sugary stuff. But like, I'm in Cyprus and like the hills behind my house, you can buy a fucking jug, like a, a glass jar of honey for like five euros. Right? So buy the fucking lot, buy all the honey. And I was, I was drinking like a jar of honey a day. I swear to God, I was drinking a jar of honey a day. My brother went to the same gym this year, I think, or last year. And they said, oh, you're, you're Lucas's brother. Or he introduced himself as Lucas's brother. And they said, oh, he used to come here. He would have one jar of honey here, one jar of water, uh, one jar of um, <laughs> water and another jar of something else. And he would be in his own world and he would do his own stuff. And I used to drink the honey while I was working out. And I felt so good, like 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 a light switch. And it's literally like an instant thing. And looking at the calories is insane. Like that's, obviously the glycogen and the sugar helps me get through the workouts, but it would have been the liquid calories. It would have, would have been probably three, three and a half thousand calories in honey I was drinking at a time. Nuts, but I was working out six, seven, eight hours a day. And when I wasn't working out, I was working in the sun for 12 hours, right? So this stuff, um, but this stuff was just like, it was helping me through. It was insane. I would probably have three or four coffees throughout the workout as well. But the honey was really getting me. And um, where I felt it the most is on the sprints, my calves felt like they were going to explode. And on my rest, I was just drink some honey. And like, you just stop for a little bit. And I swear to God, if you never tried it, like next time you're walking out, drink honey while you're doing it or during you're doing it or even after you're doing it. And you can feel the difference. It's insane. But um, yeah, anyway, this and then... I like to experiment. I've done every single fucking diet, every single ex bullshit. I've, I've tried everything. I'm a, I'm a super bro, but I'm a super provers in the pudding kind of thing. Hear me out, right? Um, so, uh, at the time I was hearing, uh, I was hearing about saunas. Um, it was a really, it's a really hot and humid place. And it's basically like a sauna, Cyprus. And I know when people go into saunas, they need to, to get the most out of it, you should drink a bunch of water and fresh electrolytes and it flushes all the shit out of your body. And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So what I would do is, in the 50 degree heat wave summer, this is Celsius, I would get in a hot shower, a hot, like a steaming hot shower in 50 degrees after my workouts. I would finish my workouts and I would, from the mountains to the sea was probably like 25 minutes, maybe 20. And um, I would walk straight there and I would jump in the sea, that cold, fresh, like water. And then I would go home and shower. And in the shower, I started, I started taking really hot showers and like drinking um, fresh. I, I would, I would eat one clove of garlic because uh, we're Greek. Like my, my Greek, yeah, yeah, preaches. You wake up every day, eat one thing of raw garlic and have a spoonful of honey. And she's 82 now, and she's like, she, she never has to go to the doctors or anything. Before you go in the sun, they take a shot of olive oil. All of this old stuff the Greeks do, but like, damn, they're, like they are onto something there, right? All the natural stuff is insane. Um, all they eat is whole foods as well. It's a beautiful way to live. Um, anyway, I would get in really hot showers, and I would drink um, cold, not cold water, I would drink uh, room temperature water because I looked into it and cold water, when you scold cold water, it takes a while, your body has to kind of change the temperature of it before it can use it properly. So I would use room temperature water, which hydrates you quicker, believe it or not. And I would drink room temperature water, which is a tiny bit of fresh lemon juice in the shower. And I would feel great. I, I like no joke, I'd feel great. I would, I would drink like a two liter bottle. Like I would just scold the whole two liter while I was in the shower. Um, it had like a, we had like a tiny little window slide and it had like a balcony because it was a flat on the third floor, I believe. So I just put the bottle there. This evolved into, well, if that, if that feels great while I'm in the shower and honey feels great when I'm working out, I shit you not. I, I, it became to the point where I was drinking honey in my showers, um, before work, after work, before working out, after working out. And I was, okay, I was like, okay, we'll have a really hot shower and I'm just going to drink some honey. 
and uh, it became a ritual. And like I would wake up in the morning, I would brush my teeth, right? And if I needed to shower, I'd get in the shower and I would just bring a jar of honey in with me and I would just be drinking honey the whole fucking way. And I, I saw a picture of myself back then and like, that was the most cardio, most intense cardio I've ever been doing. I was nowhere near as strong as I am now, right? But goddamn, my, from the angle, because the angle was like a side angle and my chest has never looked better. So I think I was looking at it and I was like, damn, like I don't even think I was benching, I, I was benching 100 kilos, two plates. I don't know how many reps I was doing, but it's not what I could do now. Overall, I was weaker, way better athlete back then, but I was weaker strength wise and my, no bodybuilding. And my chest looked fucking ridiculous. It was huge, dude. And it, it, it's got to be like the honey I was just gulleting. And I, I was eating a lot of calories on top of that as well. I was drinking a lot of milk. Um, but goddamn honey. So yeah, I... Very quickly, it became... I was having honey during workouts. And then I ended up drinking honey in my showers. <laughs> and it worked. It, like in a really hot shower you sweat all of the shit out you know and, and like you want fresh electrolytes fresh things going into your body just drink some fucking honey in a hot shower and it's tremendous and um looking back at a pitch today i think i'm gonna start doing it but it i had the benefit of being in cyprus and being i literally had a we literally had a bee farm right behind us so the honey was like uh, glass jars around this it was around this big so this is a kilo so i would assume that's like yeah a kilo so it would have been a kilo of honey for like uh five sometimes six euros cash when this is 700 grams and this is six pounds so and it's all gonna organic obviously don't get a blended bullshit honey um which is just fucking basically sh just man-made sugar but i think i'm gonna start doing that because I'm in the shed now, and the shed, when it's hot, it's fucking hot. It is hot. Like, I was in there today just doing them, them deadlifts, and, like, uh, I was fucking gullet in water, and it was just going straight through me. So, I don't know if I'm going to start drinking honey again in the showers, but uh, I'm definitely going to start uh, bringing honey back into the routine because, god damn, I mean, if you know me nowadays, um, what I have been doing is like this peanut butter here sugar free palm oil free tremendous literally just peanuts i mean this top right here is like seven thousand calories dude when i go to wrestling training i got this and i got a spoon and when i need it one spoon is like fucking 300 calories or something if it's a big one and it's like real good but that, but that honey is different that honey uh, you gotta do it to believe it and it, it is instantaneous it is instantaneous the way you feel. If you're if you're tired, you drink that honey, you're like, oh, I'm here, I'm here now, I'm here now. And um, fuck, fuck. 2019, late, late 2019 maybe? Early 2019, I can't remember. I was working night shifts at Tesco as a friend called Harry. And uh, I was staying at my brother's. And at the end of the night shift, um, we would, we, he would live in the direction of the gym and I would walk to the gym and I had an alarm called 6.45 and I, it was drop your ego because I would be walking into the gym around that time. My brother would meet me at the gym at 7 and um, from the walk from Tesco's to the gym was probably like half an hour after doing a long ass night shift and I would actually, I would be spoon feeding, I would be spoon feeding myself honey and I would go through maybe like Maybe like half on one of these. By the time I get to the gym, I felt great. And if I needed more, I would have it there. But, um, man, I always preach honey because this is like a 15 minute story. But uh, I would always preach honey because of the way it makes you feel. And it, and it literally goes straight to the glycogen stores. And, and you feel so much better straight away. But, like, god damn, if you're bulking and you're trying to gain weight, like, this thing here is 2,000 plus calories. And you don't even feel it. And it's like, it's natural. It's honey. You're not going to get fucking bullshit diabetes. It's just You're not going to rot your teeth. This is real fucking food. This is not man-made sugar. I've I've been out of man-made sugar since um, December 2020, just before Christmas, start of the month. Maybe the late November, but like I've been feeding away from sugar. No chocolates, no sweets, no bullshit. It's probably sugar and like bread and some of the stuff I eat now and then, but... 
honey, tremendous. If you're not having some nice organic honey, and if you're, if you're going through your workouts and you're feeling a little bit sluggish, or you want to gain weight, or you want to bulk, or you just want to feel some energy, or like, for me, I go to wrestling class at like 7, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the end of the day. And by then, I've worked out three, four times, and I've done a shit ton of stuff during the day. Maybe you come from a job, and you're feeling, maybe your jujitsu class starts at like 8, or se say 7 as well, but you've had the whole day before you. Just have some honey before you go, dude. Some nice, clean, organic honey, and see how you feel. Have some honey before your workouts, during your workouts, and after your workouts. See how you feel, because, listen, I'm not sponsored by honey. I'm not selling you shit, but this is a fucking game changer. Um... And recently I've been reminded, recently I've been reminded of it. That's why, the reason why I brought honey back is because um, I got these no sugar, no salt, like a uh, granola kind of shit. And it ain't, it don't taste the best. I have it with some milk. And I was like, you know what? I need some honey. And that's why this came back into my life a couple months ago. But uh, if you can have some proper honey, if you have like a farm there, you can buy jarred honey, get that shit. Because that's. This is organic and stuff, but it's way better. Um, but this came back into my life because of that. And recently, I've just been like, just put it in water and drinking it with water. And I've, it's frozen right now. And you squeeze it and it's like a big chew. It's tremendous. But I saw the picture of myself today and I thought, God damn. And, um, and I walked past and I just had some honey now. And I looked at the calories and, I, and it made sense. So I just wanted to tell that little story of me working out eight hours a day um, and just <laughs> working out eight hours a day and just uh, drinking a liter of a, a kilo. So it would have been like a liter, I assume, of honey a day and uh, feeling tremendous. You know, I was working 12 hours in the sun, working out five hours after that as well. Super fucking busy, super busy, a shit ton of cardio and I was gaining weight and I was getting jacked and I wasn't even that strong. So, um, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna see if I can source, source some local honey, or, I mean, at this point, organic guaranteed, but best bang for my buck, money wise. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start bringing that back into my workouts. I think I'm. I think that's a definite, and uh, we'll see where we get. But honey, that's. 17 minute story about honey god damn i hope it's interesting <laughs>